All right, 7.4, quadratic equations and zeros. Remember, zeros are like the solutions to the quadratic equations. So what I do, any equation that's in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c, these numbers can be anything, positive or negative. They can be given by this formula, which is the quadratic formula. It says that your solutions x can be given by negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac. So remember, it's like all this stuff is in parentheses under that radical. All this is divided by 2a. Now remember, a can't be 0 because that would take away the x squared term and it wouldn't even be quadratic no more. Now, these questions want me to find the zeros. So they're giving me f of b equals b squared plus 10b plus 24. So first of all, I've got to take that and set it equal to 0. Remember, finding zeros is setting it to 0. So I'm going to see if I can factor this. If I was going to be able to factor this, I'd have to find factors of this 24 that would add, since that's positive, to get that 10. So let's see, 1 and 24 add to get 25, that don't work. 2 and 12 add to get 14, that don't work. 4 and 6, look, they add to get 10, so I'm going to factor this. B squared is a B and a B. That's positive, so both of these will be positive like the middle number. And then I would put in my 4 and 6. Order don't matter. Now, since all this is equal to zero, I can set each factor equal to zero because remember the zero product rule says if two things equal zero, then by God either the A is zero or the B has to equal zero. So let's set these equal to zero and then we're going to solve both of them. So to solve the first one, I'm going to subtract four from both sides and I get B equals A negative four. The second one, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides and get B equals A, negative 6. So my answers would be B equals negative 4, comma, negative 6. So that one was factorable and I was able to solve it. But remember, I said this quadratic formula can solve any of these. So if you don't know how to factor, you can always use the quadratic formula. So let's put into that and see what we would get. X equals negative so you always got to write the negative, and then wherever there's a letter, you're going to come down and put parentheses. Now everything gets brought down in that formula all over 2 times the A. So notice I replaced all these letters with parentheses. Now where there was a B, I'm going to come up here and put 10 because that's the middle number. Remember on this one, a is going to equal 1, B will equal 10, and C will equal to 24. We only want the numbers as they appear in front of them trinomials, okay? So now B again is 10, so I would put that there. Over here, A, A is 1, and C is 24. All that over, 2 times my A, which was 1. All right, so let's see. I'm going to bring down to my equals. That negative times 10 gives me a negative 10 plus or minus square root. There's going to be a lot of work under the square root. All right, this is 10 squared, which is 10 times 10, which is 100. Now, y'all, look, this, all this end is getting multiplied together. There's only one negative down there, so it's going to stay negative. Now, 4, so let me turn this on. 4 times 1 times 24 is going to equal... 96, so I get 100 minus 96. All over the bottom, that 2 times 1 is going to give me 2. All right, so I just bring stuff down until I can get rid of this radical. So that's plus or minus. All right, I can do some work under here still. Remember, remember, all this is in parentheses. So 100 minus 96 gives me a 4 under there now. All over that 2. All right. Let's bring down the negative 10 because I can't do nothing with it yet. Plus or minus. Now, since i got a single number under there, I need to see if I can take the square root or simplify that. Well, guess what? 4 does have a square root of 2. So that square root of 4 now becomes that 2 all over 
that two still. So now, do you see all three of these numbers on the outside? We'll divide by two. So I'm going to bring down this equals. That's going to give me a negative. Ten divided by two is five. Plus or minus two divided by two is one. And then on the bottom, that two divided by two is one. So I don't have to worry about writing that. So now, here's how you get your two answers with this. The first answer is equal to negative 5 plus 1. So I use a plus to get its answer. Well, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. To get the second answer, I do negative 5 minus 1. Well, negative 5 minus 1 gives me negative 6. So if you notice, while well, I got negative 4, negative 6, on this I got negative 4, negative 6. So the quad formula will solve anything if you don't know how to factor. Alright, so now remember, A is 1, B is 10, C is 24. Because watch what I'm about to do. I'm going to hit my program button on this calculator. I'm going to arrow down until I get the quad. Alright, I'm on quad, so I'm going to hit enter. Now it says program quad. I'm going to hit enter one more time and get it started. So now it wants to know what A is. Remember, A is 1, so I'm going to do 1, enter. It wants to know what B is. B is 10, so I'm going to do 10, enter. It wants to know what C is. C is 24, so I'm going to do 24, enter. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to give me two answers, and look at that, negative 4 and negative 6. So those would be the decimal approximations. And then if I hit enter again, I would get the exact answers, which on this case are still negative 4 and negative 6. Alright, so let's move over and do another problem. So I'm going to clear that out. So my number 2, I'm going to do f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 4. <coughs> All right, so since that's negative, I want to find factors of 4 that would subtract to give me 2. Well, let's see. 1 times 4 is 4. They subtract to give me 3. That don't work. 2 times 2 is 4. They subtract to give me 0. That don't work. So this does not factor. So I'm going to bring down my numbers. A, since there's no number there, is a 1. B is this number, which is negative 2. And then C is the last number, which is negative 4. We're going to plug this into our quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. So let me put my numbers in. Negative 2 for the b, 1 for the a in both spots, and then negative 4 for that c. All right, let's see what happens. Those two negatives make that a positive 2, plus or minus. So we're done with that 2 for a while until we get this radical done. Negative 2 squared, any number squared is going to be positive. So 2 times 2 is 4. That's a positive 4. Now notice this in This time you got a negative and a negative. Two negatives will make all that positive. And then let's see what we got. 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. So all that gives me a positive 16. 2 times 1 is 2. Alright, so I'm going to bring that 2 down because i still got to work under the radical. 4 plus 16 is now 20 under the radical all over 2. Alright, let's see. I can now, i got to see if I can simplify that square root of 20. So you got to bring out any factors of 20 that are perfect squares. Now perfect squares are numbers like 1 times 1 is 1, but 1 don't help me. 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 is a perfect square, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, 36, 7 times 7 is 49, and so on. So are any of these factors factors of 20? And yes, you do see one there, that 4. So I'd make this 20 a 4, and what number times 4 gives me 20 would be 5. All right, the reason I picked that 4, because now what's the square root of 4? Correct, it is a 2. Now bring down the square root of 5 behind it. That's now I'm going to replace the square root of 20. So this is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 5 all over 2. 
All right, so on this one, let's see. We need to simplify this. All three numbers will divide by 2. Now, remember, you can't just do two of these numbers and not that one. It's got to be done to all three of the outside numbers. Now, notice, I never, never simplify anything under a radical with these outside numbers. Inside numbers cannot simplify with the outside ones, okay? So watch what happens. 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus or minus. 2 divided by 2 is 1 square root of 5. And technically on the bottom you would have 2 divided by 2 is 1. But remember, we don't have to write the 1 on the bottom. Now, on math lab I can do 1 plus or minus square root of 5 if they give me the plus or minus option. Or i got to write 1 plus square root of 5 comma 1 minus square root of 5. All right, remember on this, we know A, B, and C are right. So I'm going to turn on this calculator, which it is. I'm going to hit Program. And remember, I'm going to arrow down until I find my quad. There it is. So I'm going to hit Enter. It brings the program on the screen. Hit Enter one more time. Get it started. I'm going to put in my 1, Enter. Negative 2, Enter. Negative 4, Enter. And now I get the decimal approximation. Later on, you're going to ask for decimals, so you would put them decimal answers on that part. But I don't want decimals. I want radicals, so I'm going to hit enter one more time. And there's my 1 plus square root of 5, 1 minus square root of 5. All right, now I want to do one more of these that involved imaginary answers so you can see how to write their answers. So this would be like my number 4. They're giving me f of x equals... 4x squared minus x plus 2. Alright, so if this is going to factor, I'd have to find 4 times 2. This time gives me 8. When there's a number in front, you got to multiply by the last number and get that product. Now you would try to find factors of 8. That subtract and give you 1. So 1 times 8, subtract and give me 7. That don't work. Oh no, these got to add, remember, because that's a positive at the end. 1 and 8 add to give me 9, that don't work. 2 and 4 add to give me 6, that don't work. So it don't factor. So I'm going to find A is 4, B is a negative 1, and C is 2. So I'm going to do it by hand on a quadratic formula. So negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. Now remember, I'm still going to do it on the calculator in a second. So let me put my negative 1 where the B's are, my 4 where the A's go, and my 2 for the C. Alright, double negative makes that a positive 1, plus or minus, square root. Negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. Let's see, this end's all getting multiplied. There's only one negative, so it's going to stay negative. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. All this over, 2 times 4 is 8. Alright, so i got to keep on going until I can simplify my radical. So 1 minus 32 makes that a negative 31. All that's over 8. So my next step is to try to simplify that square root of negative 31. So remember, None of these perfect square factors are factors of that 31. So I can't simplify the radical that way. But, remember, I can't take the square root of negative numbers. So if i got a negative under the radical, i got to break out that negative 1 and then leave that 31 in the radical. Because, remember, what's the square root of negative 1? Correct. That's the i. So i got to put that i square root of 31. So remember, if you're negative under that radical, you've got to at least bring out the i. So that this now becomes 1 plus or minus i square root of 31 all over 8. Now the thing about this, since i got imaginary answers on this, i got to write my final answer in the form of a plus bi, which means they want it split apart. So what I would do, the first number, put that over the bottom, which is 1 over 8, plus or minus. Then I would put this part over the 8, so that I get an i square root of 31 
all over 8. So you got to split it into two fractions. Now the I can either go in front of all this or you could put it to the back. Okay. Now remember, if it wants two answers, you're going to have 1 over 8 plus square root of 31 over 8i comma 1 over 8 minus square root of 31 over 8i. So notice you can write it in the back like I said or you can put it in the front. Now, let me do this on the calculator. So since I'm already in my quad program, I'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask me for a. So a is 4, so I'm going to do 4, enter. b is negative 1, so I'm going to do negative 1, enter. c is 2, so I'm going to do 2, enter. Now remember, the first answer, since this is not a real number and it's imaginary, they're not having a decimal approximation. They're going straight to the exact answer. Now, this, this gives me in a single fraction, so I would still have to put this as a 1 8 plus i squared of 31 over 8. So notice this capital I, this program was old, and we didn't have the little fancy I's at that time. So just remember, where there's a capital I, you would put the little fancy I on the math lab. Okay? And then when you hit enter again, you're out of that program, ready to do another problem. All right, so that's all the time we got, so good luck. And remember, if you need that program, you need to see me during my office hours or go to the campus tutor labs. Good luck.